As I remember, we uh, have read up to the um, verse 30 to uh, chapter 5 of the book. Yes, sir. Yes, we are all. Uh, is are in sickness, so we need a, a spiritual physician. Uh, that is our Jesus, right? So through his message, we want to be healed by his uh, commandment and his word and his love. We should not think ourselves we are uh, established spiritual or in our physically so we are in weakness so that's why we need the help of jesus and the comfort of god's word okay let's uh, go directly into the verse 33 let's read it together and they said to him the disciples of john often fast and offer prayers and the disciples of the Pharisees also do the same but yours eat and drink yeah the Pharisees and the scribes are saying to Jesus yes he they are comparing the uh, Jesus disciple with the, the disciple of John and themselves also. The disciple of John often fast and offer prayer. Do you uh, often fast? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, the fasting is not easy. So sometimes the uh, hypocrites, the boast of uh, their fasting, and then they fast a lot like this. But the, the fast that God receive is not uh, that the kinds of the Pharisees. They uh, outwardly and then they uh, reveal their fasting in front of the people so that they may be uh, rewarded by paper uh, in the eyes of the paper but the the true fast and um, the fast that, that God is uh, satisfied with is uh, the the broken heart the yes brokenness in spirit and the, the desperate comes from the our heart that God want to receive and that they God want to receive the kind of fasting and humble heart and then humble prayer not uh the boast of uh, what are they are doing for the uh, kingdom of God or for the people of God like this that is not that Mm, fast uh, to satisfy God. So when we fast, so we have to uh, inwardly and spiritual fast and then hunger and then desperateness. We should do, uh, keep the kind of mind. And the disciple of the Pharisees also do the same, but yours eat and drink. The Jesus deserves are eating and drinking because they get together together or with the, the Matthew, the tax collector, 
Then they were invited by May to deliver by the tax collector. They had a, a feast there and then they eat and drink with the sinners. They watch it. The Pharisees and the scribes watch it. So that's why they are speaking like this. And Jesus said to them, you cannot make the attendance of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them, can you? Yeah, Jesus is, is speaking in parable to the Pharisees to uh, give insight to them. So what is the difference of the, uh, the ordinary fast from the genuine fast and the, you cannot make the attendance of the bridegroom. Yes, so who is the bridegroom? Yes, bridegroom is our Lord Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is with his disciples. That means the bridegroom is the main the character of the wedding ceremony. So he is uh, the main characteristic to celebrate and then to be celebrated. So while the bridegroom is enjoying his wedding ceremony and then the people who are invited to the wedding as a guest, they are also uh, dwell in great joy with the bridegroom. They have to uh, enjoy the wedding to celebrate the bridegroom and bride. So uh, the while the wedding ceremony is uh, proceeding and then while the bridegroom is with the friend and the guest in the wedding ceremony, they uh, do not have to, yeah, fast. Yeah, it is yeah, weird. Yeah, oh, for bridegroom and then his friend to fast on the wonderful yeah moment. So this he is indicating why the bridegroom with them can you and but the day will come and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. Yes, what kinds of the day is coming? Yeah, the day. The day of judgment, yes, or the the Lord, the bridegroom, is taken up. The Jesus is taken away from the people, from the his people. Yeah, for what situation? Yes, the crucifixion. Uh, Jesus uh, took the cross so that he may take away our sins. Yeah, he eh, want to take our sins instead of us. So when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. Then, then the disciples of Jesus real fast because uh, oh, they lost uh, their master and then teacher and then his guidance. They, yeah, all of a sudden, the, the man that they are following will be taken away in their, in their eyes. And so, uh, Jesus indicating the kind of uh, the crucifixion day. But the people uh, couldn't understand what Jesus is talking about now. And, G and he, Jesus was able telling, also telling them a parable. No one tears a piece of clothes from a new garment and put it on an old garment. Otherwise, he will both tear the new and the piece from the new will not match the old. This uh, parable is very famous. You have uh, heard a lot. Yeah, you know the meaning of uh, this parable exactly right. So have you ever 
experience this kind of uh, the tone, uh, the peace uh, from the new garment and was put in on an old garment. Oh, what happened? Yes, the new garment has never been shrunk. So while he was put, but while the new clothes is put on the old garment, when the new piece of garment is being shrunken, and then the old garment was put, yeah, so in the case, the old garment, it already it is old and then the easily torn because of the kind of pool of new garment. So otherwise, he will both uh, tear the new and the piece from the new, will not match all. Yes, the new uh, cloth. And uh, the old clothes do not match. Go does not go along well with each other. So different colors and different textures, and then does not go with. So new things. If you are the new spirit, if you are refreshed by the Holy Spirit, you are a new one. In the case, you should take your spirit out of your old, your image and old, your attitude and old behaviors. You should uh, work in a new way because you are healed. You are provided by God in a new way. So you have a new vision and then new will of God then you have to follow the kind of newness, yes, refreshedness from God and then supplied by God and then strengthened by God. And then so the, not only the simply their garment, but also our heart and our spirit should be matched with the new things. Our heart should be in the new situation. God will open a new way for you to work and then work. In the case, how can you uh, reveal the goodness of your refreshing by God? Yes, there is a new heart and a loving kindness to the people. And then, but the strictness of uh, God's uh, law and then God's love. God's love all, is not always, always uh, uh, accepting the, uh, uh, our situation because when God's love see our unfiltiness, then he shows his love uh, with the strictness of his heart. Just as uh, when we uh, discipline our sons and daughters, when they were doing, they are doing wrong, wrongly, then we have to show our heart strictly. So, and then you should not do that kind of evil act. You should set apart from your evilness and then good things. So it is, you know, we, uh, we have to listen our newness from all the things. So God's love, sometimes uh, merciful. But when we are not in goodness, God will show us with strictness. So we have to have a new heart that is very important. 
and no one puts new wine into old wine skin. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skin and it will be spilled out and the skin will be ruined. Yes. Uh, when we have... Uh, uh, is a mm, pitiful heart on the old one. Uh, then we cannot uh, cast away that old one easily. Ah, oh, so uh, regrettable. So uh, I think I have to put that old one aside. Then in the case, this small, uh, what is the, the lump of yeast defies a whole lump of the flower so the god uh, warned us we do not have the kind of the uh, the uh, lavender bread so god want us to have the unleavened uh, bread situation so that we may not be defied with the, the kind of yeast oh, because a small the, this amount of yeast make the whole with the lump uh, is uh, leavened so just as that no one put new wine into old wine yes new wine should be into the new wine skin that if we new wine be put into old wine skin then the new wine is that kind of uh, the not toxic the is a new ingredient will make the skin burst especially old one cannot bear the kind of a new ingredient. So it will be a uh, spirit uh, when the skin was uh, burst. So the skin will be ruined and also the wine will be spilled. So it is not uh, good to both of them. We cannot save the new wine. We cannot uh, make the wild, old wine skin be used for the uh, purpose of uh, new holding the wine. So, but new wine must be put into fresh wine. And no one after drinking old wine wishes for new, for he says the old is good enough. Yes, the wine uh, need uh, enough time for uh, that kind of uh, ripening, being ripened. And then the, it takes time to uh, ferment it. When the old wine has enough time for fermented, then we can have a good wine and we can drink a good taste of wine so old one is good enough and the new wine need that kind of time so yeah and then chapter six now it happened that he was passing through some grain field on sabbath and his disciples were picking the head of grain and rubbing them in their hands and eating the grain. Yeah, Jesus was uh, passing through some grain field on Sabbath. Yeah, the, we have to uh, see oh, how other people are, have their mind uh, toward the Sabbath. Yeah. On a Sabbath, on the Sabbath, Jewish people 
uh, was commanded uh, not to work on Sabbath day uh, by the law of Moses. And then they uh, didn't break Sabbath through working. Even when they uh, was fed with the heavenly manna uh, on the Sabbath, they couldn't get out to pick up the manna on the on the earth. So just uh, as uh, the old ancestor of Jewish people did, they followed God's command. So they do not work. They were not uh, working on the surface. But his disciples, Jesus' disciples, were picking the head of grain and then rubbing the rubbing them and eat. So the Jewish people, the Pharisees, some but the some of the Pharisees said, Why do you do what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Wow, the Pharisees uh, uh, the strictness is uh, so severe. And then they watch it and then they indicating, and why do you do what is not lawful on the Sabbath? What is not lawful on the Sabbath? Yeah, they should not work on the Sabbath. Then in the parishes, uh, they blame for uh, that factor. And the Jesus answering them said, have you not even read what David did when he was hungry? He and those who were with oh, him. Yes. David oh, was escaping from King Saul uh, without any preparation. He uh, urgently, he should get out of the uh, palace of uh, Saul. Because Saul has intention, King Saul has intention uh, to kill David because of the Saul's jealousy. So David couldn't stay with the Saul. So he had to rush it uh, to the other place, yes. coming out of the King Saul's threat. At that time, David uh, didn't prepare anything. So he had to find food for him and for those who were with him. So at that time, David entered a uh, temple. Sorry, uh, and then the mm -hmm. temple, in the temple, there were there were priests to, to uh, were doing his duty. Abneer, beta, Abneer, mic mute karo. Sorry, Kara. Sorry, please continue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. no. Oh, okay. Oh. And at that time, uh, when David uh, entered the temple to seek the food from the priest, and then the priest didn't have any other food except the showbread. The showbread uh, is only for God and then dedicate to the God and then when they change the showbread into new things when they uh, withdrew the kind of showbread then the showbread can be eaten by only priest but at the time the priest had only the showbread so 
uh, he shared, David, is it okay for you to have uh, this showbread? This uh, showbread is not lawful for other people except the priest. But David was in emergency and urgency. So uh, he took the bread, showbread from the host, the, the, the priest, and then he ate and he shared the showbread with the, the people who were following were following him. And uh, Jesus uh, explaining his, his uh, mm, uh, answering to Pharisees about David's situation. Because the Jewish people uh, was full respect of King David. So when King David uh, did uh, something uh, they cannot blame uh, against David about what he did. Uh, so Jesus responded to the Pharisees the uh, accusation and then now he entered the house of God and Took the took and ate the consecrated bread, which is not lawful for any to ex eat except the priest alone. And gave it to his companion. And Jesus was saying to them, "The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath." Yeah. He, Jesus is adding one, one thing, the son of man. Who is the son of man? Yes, Jesus. Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. Yes, Jesus is the Lord of Sabbath, not only the Lord of Sabbath, but also Lord of, of all days. Yeah, all the days is for son of man so he is the lord of all the days of our lives and then all the times of our lives so we are that's why we are lotus that's why we are living for god this is all the things the food and the time and then space are from god and then given by God. So the Son of Man is the 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 Son of Man is the Lord of the Lords and King of Kings. Yeah. On another Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and was teaching. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. Yes, on another Sabbath day. The previous passage it was about the Sabbath. And then on another Sabbath day, Jesus entered the synagogue and was teaching. Jesus always entered the synagogue and always uh, he teaches. We have to learn. Yeah. Whenever find time, we have to go into you know, synagogue has uh, the many function at the times so a gathering place and then teaching place, and then the the what is the proclaim uh, the sharing the word of God the place and then the the kind of court the the cultural center just as your mission center. So in your mission center, you have a plan to teach kids and then teach kids the uh, God's word. And then Jesus, when Jesus entered the synagogue and then he was teaching. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered, yes withered in it 
um, he has a disease on his hand. The scribes and the Pharisees were watching him closely to see if he healed on the Sabbath so that they might find reason to accuse him. The scribes and the Pharisees were watching him closely to what? To do what? Yeah, to see if Jesus healed on the Sabbath so that they might find a reason to accuse him. Yes, Pharisees and scribes also knew that Jesus has the power to heal, right? It's a, it's a, isn't it great? They knew that Jesus has the power to heal. And then also he uh, uh, always focus on teaching and uh, always focus on healing the people and uh, helping people who has difficulties and who were suffered from uh, evil spirit. So they are watching to see what Jesus doing is doing on Sabbath because on the Sabbath, it is not uh, lawful to do something, to do good, even to do good. So they want to find a reason to accuse him. So bad, right? But he knew what they were thinking. And he said to the man with a withered hand, get up and come forward. And he got up and came forward. Jesus knew also. Pharisees and scribes knew that Jesus had power to heal and then strength to heal and the will to heal people. But Jesus also knew that oh, people had the, what kind of dirt in their heart. God knew all the things in our heart, what are we are thinking? Because uh, outwardly, it cannot be uh, perceived. And then we, we cannot, oh, what kind of dirt people have in their heart. But God and Jesus knew what we are having in our heart. So, and he said to the man, with the withered hand, get up. What uh, did Jesus uh, say to the people with the disease and illness? Get up and come forward. Jesus commanded the man to get up and come forward. And he uh, listened to Jesus. Said, the withered man got up and came forward and Jesus says to them I ask you is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath to save a life or to destroy it yes it yes God is uh, uh, reversely asking to them is it lawful to do good do you want to to do good? Do you want to heal people with God's word and with your in your faith? Yes, we want. We want to give hope to the people who are suffering from illness. And then if we have a power to deliver the word of God, if we have confidence, oh the word of God coming out of our mouths can have a power to heal the people, then we wish we to be used uh, for doing good, even on the Sabbath, right? In any day, on any day, if it is uh, allowed it for us to do good, yeah, we want to receive that kind of a great power and grace, right? Yeah, if we can save a life, if we can save a life on a Sabbath day or 
on a ordinary day, then we have to do. But if we uh, have an evil heart to attack other people, then, uh, then in the case, no, uh, we can destroy his spirit with their 